switch to form view and see the beginning stages of our form. We have a record selector that will allow us to select the entire record and also navigation buttons at the bottom of the screen. These are difficult for the user to see, so we will add our own command buttons to the form. On the design ribbon, select the button icon and then select record operations so that we can add a new employee record to the table. Text is much easier to understand than icons or pictures, so make sure that you enter in an appropriate text for your button. You can also select the cursor on hover property and the back style property to change the button so that it has more of a web feel and appearance. To add another button, we are going to select the form operations and close form, then add the text of close form, and then click next. All buttons should have the CMD prefix for the button name. Next we will add buttons to navigate to the first, next, previous, and last record in our table. These are all located under the record navigation category. We will maintain the text of first, next, previous, and last on the command buttons. The text you see on the button is in the caption property. The name of the button is in the name property. That is referenced in the code for the form. Design view. 